rainbow trout. Hey, what's up guys? James from Junkyard Fox. Thank you so much for joining us on another adventure. And today I wanted to do something more relaxing, more calm. So we decided to head out to go fishing in New Mexico. And as you saw earlier, we caught ourselves this nice size little rainbow trout. He's about nine inches, nine and a half inches, a good size. Now we only did catch one, but that's enough for a video. And I realized that we haven't had any catch and cook videos and for the year 2021, so, uh, we're overdue, right? So today, we're going to be cooking up this trout very old school caveman style. You've seen us in past videos cook one uh, over the grill roasted on our Swiss Army Knife Trekker review. You've seen us make a trout soup on a catch and cook trout video last year. And now today what I want to do is go very Ray Muir, Ray Muir style and put them on a stick and then just rotate them. I think that'd be really cool. We've never done that, so it's going to be a first for Junkyard Fox. So I hope you guys are hungry. Hope you guys are ready. Let's get started. So in the meantime, we're going to get this fire nice and hot so it burns down into a nice hot bed of coals and then we need to go, go ahead and get a stick so we can attach our fish. keep in mind this is amateur hour okay guys we've never done this before you know we've seen specials you know by Ray Mears and stuff but uh, you know as all things it takes practice so we got a green stick from a pine tree I know somebody's gonna say don't use pine but this is a pine forest that's all we have so the main ridge is a, is a larger thicker pine stick that goes through the side that I cut through the side and it comes out the side of its mouth now it was sliding around as you can imagine on the stick. So what I did is I got two smaller sticks and I sharpened the ends as best as I could. And I placed one through the front of the main stick and then the other one through the back of the stick. So that way it kind of interlocks and it keeps it from moving around too much. Now if I really try and wiggle this, it will move, but for now it's doing a decent job of staying still. So as I rotate it, 
it's going to be staying still. Now, as you can tell by our fire, it's getting nice and warm. You can see all those white uh, ashes, which is really what we want. We want, you know, that those coals so we can cook on top of them. So I'm about to move that large log, and I think we're about ready to cook. So our coals are getting there very nice and warm and ready to cook. Now I'm just going to season this guy just a slight bit. Trout is already delicious enough as it is, but, you know, just a little extra. Now we're going to be using some red-eyed hog that a patron was kind enough to send to me. So Billy Elliot, thank you so much. I'm really liking this stuff. So not too much, but it'll, that'll help. And then I did find this in my truck this morning, and... Uh, <laughs> it's gonna come to good use so some crushed red pepper that I had from Little Caesars Pizza that I just had in my truck I didn't want to throw away and apologies I'm trying to balance this stick and do this stuff but once again not too much trout is already flavorful enough as it is but it can't hurt right so from here we're ready to place him on the fire So I tried to rotate our fish and the poor little guy, uh, this piece fell out. One of the sticks fell out with a little bit of his fins. So uh, yeah, that didn't work, but we still managed to make it, uh, hold it on there and now it's, it's cooking. These coals are hot, very, very hot to the touch, to the point where I kind of want to move him a little farther because I don't want him to get burnt. But yeah, I mean, this guy's going to cook really good. Okay, so we cooked them about 15 to 20 minutes. I tried to turn them as evenly as I could. His eyes are white. I'd say he's pretty good. So now it's time to take a taste test. Do we get a good meal or is this a disaster? It's good. I would say he may need a little bit more time on the fire. probably about five more minutes just to play it safe but um other than that i mean it's flavorful it's, it's trout trout has just this naturally juicy flavor to it and um well i wish this video could be longer but these damned winds they come and go and come and go and we're just it just messes with our us shooting our audio uh we have a fire so we're getting nervous uh but yeah we're about to call it quits here guys uh we removed the fish from the stick and we put it on my cutting board and we're about to chow down and head out guys so this was a fun experience uh many ways to cook trout i still prefer just using a simple grill but then of course i just need more experience you know using it with the stick you know just going old school style uh next time i'll try you know the the, the spit roast method and may, maybe that's easier and other than that guys i'm very proud that i finally broke my curse of 2021 this year i have gone fishing like six times i've gone quail hunting like three times i've gone deer hunting zero zero action zero chance in all of them so i finally caught something so 
Yes. But anyways, we were overdue for a catch and cook. This is my favorite. These are my favorite type of videos, guys. Just living off the land, hunting something, trapping something, uh, gathering certain plants. I love that stuff. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up and comment down below. Give us some pointers, guys. Uh, Ray Mears, if you're watching, give us some pointers on this because uh, we did struggle a little bit, um, but uh, we managed to get it done. But next time we want to look smooth, you know. So thank you for watching. We'll see you guys next week. Now go outside and get your boots dirty. <laughs>